Good evening. Good evening, Hiba. I have to be sorry because I had a class. Please forgive me. Um, I'm trying to get out of the food. I'm not sure. Yes, I know. No, I'm not sure. 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 I'm Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? I'm fine. What about you? I'm okay as usual. Thank you for asking. Let's wait a little bit for your friends. Maybe they tried to come, but they failed. So only two or three minutes maximum. Okay, guys, so I think we have to start because it is nine and eight. So I think we have to begin. Let me share the screen and let me open your book. So this is level three. And this is the book. I think I have to go down. We have done all of these. That's good. Yes, we have done that. And this. And even this page. We have read this passage. Uh -huh. And I think finally we stopped in solving this exercise, which is about the literal phrasal verbs and idiomatic phrasal verbs. So I think now we have to start discussing uh, this page. Now, this page, guys, is talking about some expressions these expressions may be, we mean 100% we are certain about this phrase, or maybe 75% we are certain, or 50% we are sure about the action. So this is about the percentage. We have, of course he will. If you want to say, of course he will pass the exam, for example. Do you mean 100%, 75 or 50? 100. 100%, exactly. He might do it or he might pass the exam. 75%. 75, maybe yes, maybe no. And okay, 
If I, if I want to say maybe. 50. 50. I doubt that. What do mean of I doubt? I ashukku fi dhalik. To be honest, it is 25%. I doubt that is 25%. And no chance at all is... Zero percent. Zero. Thank you, Tagreed. It is zero. Impossible to pass the exam. So we notice that while using these expressions, be careful. Because some of them, you mean 100% about you sure or you're certain, 75, 50, maybe 25 or maybe 0%, impossible to happen. It is the same here with the second question. Does Martin earn a lot of money? Yes, absolutely. How many percentage? 100. Yes, 100% certain. I think so. 55. 55. 50, 75. 75, I think so. I think that. I'm not sure about this. 50. Yes, maybe yes. Maybe no, it is 50. I don't think so. 25. 25, exactly. I don't think so. But definitely, completely not. Zero. No. It is zero percent. Thank you so much. So again, these expressions, you have to be careful while using them. It is the same with the third question. Are England going to win the World Cup? Definitely. 100% certain. Thank you. Perhaps, maybe. 75. Um, are you sure? Or 50. 50. 50. Maybe yes, maybe no. Perhaps, or maybe. it's this, It has the same meaning of maybe. Perhaps. They might do it. Now. Uh, Bravo, 75. now 75%. Anything's possible. Uh, 25, maybe. 25, anything is possible. Just like a mock, exactly. Not a chance. Zero. Uh huh. So no chance. Not a chance. Definitely not. It is zero percent. So these are the expressions that you have to be careful while using them, because it depends on percentage. One hundred percentage. Seventy-five percentage. Fifty-five percentage. Twenty-five and even zero percentage. Let's listen to the recording while using these expressions. It is 5.14. This is unit 5. And this is recording 14. Tape script 5.14. Expressing doubt and certainty. 1. Do you think Tom will pass his exams? I doubt it. He's fed up with school. I know. He has no chance at all. He wants to leave and get a job. So what expressions did they use? I doubt it. I doubt it. And they use something else. OK, I think I have to repeat the recording. Let me repeat it and listen carefully this time. Tape script 5.14. Expressing doubt and certainty. 1. Do you think Tom will pass his exams? I doubt it. He's fed up with school. I know. He has no chance at all. He wants to leave and get a job. No. No, no chance. No, oh, bravo. No chance. Chance in the British accent, but the chance in American. So these are the two expressions the speaker used. Now two. Two. Does Martin earn a lot of money? Yes, absolutely. He earns a fortune. Mm, I'm not sure. He wants to change his job. So? Yes, yes absolutely. And, okay. I'm not sure. Yes, I'm not sure exactly. So these are the two expressions the speaker used in this recording. The next one. Three. Are England going to win the World Cup? They might do. 
Anything's possible, but I think it's very unlikely. Absolutely. I don't think they have a chance. So? Anything's possible, or mm -hmm. not chance. Yes, not a chance. They might and do. They might do it. Mm. Exactly. So this is it. There is something you have to know, guys, which is the most, the most, the ugliest thing the English language hate is repetition. I mean, don't say all the time, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yes, you can say definitely, but the next time you can say absolutely. And you can say, of course. So you have to verify the expressions while writing and while speaking, because repetition is something bad. So this is it about these expressions, but it's not the end. Now we have to use them, these expressions, in these blanks that we have in exercise number four. So let's complete the conversations with one word or expression that we have in exercise number one. So it is 5.15. Let me play the recording and let's fill the blanks. Tape script 5.15. One. Kelly's job is really stressful, isn't it? Absolutely. She's a paramedic. Is she having a holiday soon? I think so. She says she might go to Spain. So? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think so. I think so. Exactly. He might go to Spain. Yes, he might do it. This is it. He might do it. So these are the three expressions in conversation number one. Now let me change the color and circle the next expressions that they have to use in, in recording number two. Two. Isn't it Rob's birthday next week? Yes, definitely. It's on the 21st. So he's a Capricorn? No, I don't think so. I think he's an Aquarius. So? Definitely. Uh, definitely. definitely. Oh, I and did I, uh, can I say I didn't? No, no, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't. Exactly. So I don't think so. This is again, I think so. I don't think so. So this is it. Now let me change the color and let's listen to the third conversation. Three. Do you think Anita and Paul are in love? Definitely. They're going to get married next June in Hawaii. Hawaii? Are you going to the wedding? No chance. I can't afford it. So? Definitely. Oh, no, uh, chance. No, chance. no chance. And definitely. Exactly. Absolutely. Of course. So this is it about certainty. You have to be careful while using them because you have to remember the percentage uh, while using these uh, 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 expressions. Now, I think I have to ask you some questions and you have to use these expressions that we have just to practice. Um, let me start with Hiba. Yes. Okay. Hiba, now the question is saying, do some vegetarians eat fish? Uh, no. Ah, uh, but DJ Roman, how are you? Yes, please. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, okay. Now, is the weather going to be nice the next weekend? Um. I think so. I think so. Amazing. And the next question is, are you going to be rich and famous one day? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> the final question is, Ziba, are you a happy girl? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Amhiba. Okay. Tadrid, okay. can I ask you a few questions? Yes, teacher. 
The first question is, do some vegetarians eat fish? I don't uh, think so. Okay, and the next question is, is the weather going to be nice next weekend? Anything's possible. Yeah, amazing, good answer. Now, are you going to be rich and famous one day? I think so. Okay, the final question is, are you a happy girl? Definitely. Definitely. Thank you so much, Tabrid. Raid, can you hear me? So, yes, I can. Okay, the first question is, do some vegetarians eat fish? Uh, yes, yes, I think so. Okay, the next question is, is the weather going to be nice next weekend? Uh, can you repeat, please? Yes. Is the weather going to be nice the next week? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay. The next question is, are you going to be rich and famous one day? Uh, anything's uh, possible. Mm, good answer. Finally, are you a happy boy? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for being sure that you are happy. Okay, thank you guys. This is it about using these expressions again. They are extremely important. Now guys, it is the unit six and the final unit in, uh, um, um, in level three. <laughs> guys, there is something which is extremely important in this unit, which is comparative and superlative. I know that we have discussed comparative and superlative in the previous level, but this lesson is completely different. We have too much things, too much new things uh, 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 we have to add. And we have what's on. What's on, when it is on, where it is on, absolutely we have to learn this expression. Now, before practicing this exercise, guys, I want you to be careful about something which is, we have this question, do you like Mia? We have, how is Mia? We have, what is Mia like? And what does Mia look like? Be careful about like and look like, because sometimes they are really confusing. Okay, number one is saying, do you like Mia? So notice the answer is, yes, I do, I like her. So this is the meaning of like. Now, what is Mia like? She is really nice and friendly. Here we have how is Mia? She's fine, thanks, very well. For we have what does Mia look like? She is tall and she's got, oh, she has got brown eyes and black hair. There is something you have to be careful. If you want to use like, you are talking about inside. But if you want to say look like, you are talking about outside. Please be careful, especially about both of them. Now, which question ask about the health? One, two, three, four. How is Mia? Yeah, exactly. How is Mia? She's fine. So two is asking about health. Now, which question uses like as a verb? Do you like Mia? Do you like? Thank you so much. So this is... One. Now, which question is to ask for physical description? What Number does Mia look like? Ah, bravo. Look like. This is for physical appearance. Now, which question means tell me about her in general or from it? It is a like? like? Exactly. So, again, be careful. Like and look like because sometimes they are really confusing. By the way, let's practice them. Before listening to the recording, which is 6.2, let's try to do it ourselves, which is matching A to B. Now, what's your teacher like? What is the best answer? And B. She's great. She helps us oh, a lot. Thank you. She is great. She helps me a lot. Two, what sports do you like? Use like as a verb. Cycling. Uh, yes, cycling. And this skiing. Three, 
What does your brother look like? He's got, he's got a blonde hair and a blue eye. Oh, bravo. He's got a blonde hair with the blue eyes. Four. Do you like pizza? Uh, mm, I love it. I love it. Mm, I love it. Everyone loves it. Five. What's the weather like today? Lovely, warm, warm, warm. Oh, bravo. Lovely, warm, and sunny. Finally, how are your parents? How is she? They're okay. Busy, yeah, as okay. Usual. busy oh, as usual. Bravo. They are okay as usual. They are busy. So this is it. Let's listen again. The difference between like, like as a verb, look like, and you like as a verb, like, and finally, to ask about health. So it's 6.2. Let's listen. Maybe we have a mistake. This is unit six. That's amazing. The final unit. And this is recording to me. Tape script 6.2. One. What's your teacher like? She's great. She helps us a lot. Two. What sports do you like? Cycling and skiing. Correct. Three. What does your brother look like? He's got blonde hair and blue eyes. Exactly. Four. Do you like pizza? Mmm, I love it. I love it. Five. What's the weather like today? Lovely. Warm and sunny. So Six. Finally. How are your parents? They're okay. Busy as usual. So this is it. Thank you guys for using them correctly. But it's not the end. I have to ask you some questions. Can I start with you, Tagrid? Yes, teacher. Uh, Tagrid, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. What does you look like? What, what, uh, sorry, do you look like? Uh, I'm tall. Mm -hmm. I have uh, brown hair and uh, brown eyes. Amazing. And what are you like? I'm friendly. Amazing. Thank you so much. So this is the difference between is, am, um, are, do, this, did. I still, we have a question, which is, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Mm, thank you so much, Tadrid. Hiba, can I ask you a few questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, Hiba, how are you today? I'm fine. Uh, uh, what Thank are amazing? What are you like? What what are you like? I'm talking about inside, in general. Okay. I like... Uh, uh, wait. My work? Hiba, what are you like? The question is to ask in general. I mean, you can say friendly, you can say nice, okay. I'm nice, I'm stubborn, for example. I'm nice. Okay, do you know the meaning of stubborn? No. Who knows the meaning of stubborn? S T U double B O R N, which is I need. Are you stubborn? Ah, uh, I need. Okay. Are you stubborn girl, Neba? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. And are you arrogant? Do you know the meaning of what arrogant? Mean? No. Arrogant is mutagatris or mutagatris? No. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. This is the question about like. Okay. okay. Now, what do you look like from outside? Okay. Um, short. Um, hmm. Brown eyes and uh, brown uh, hair. Uh huh. Amazing. 
Do you like your family, Yubiba? Sure. Okay, thank you so much. Right. I think I have some questions for you. Yes. All right. What do you look like? Uh, I'm tall. Mm -hmm. I have a brown uh, hair and uh, eyes. Amazing. Okay. And what are you like? Uh, lovely and uh, sociable. Amazing. What do you like? Um, I like I like doing sport. Amazing. Thank you. Good answer. And how are you? I'm good. Thanks. God. Thank you so much. Right. So this is it. The difference between what do you like and what are you like? Please be careful. Plus, what are you like and what do you look like? So please be careful because sometimes they are confusing. Okay. So this is about this page. Now I think we have to practice this page. Guys, I think the hardest, the most important lesson in level three is comparative and superlative. I know that we have discussed this lesson before, but now we have to add something new to this lesson, something extremely important. And you have to be careful because in a certain way, they are a little confusing. Let's try to listen to the recording number one, which is in exercise uh, recording number 6.3 in exercise number one. And I need you to notice something that all of them we have like, 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 and like. So let's listen to the recording and let's fill the blanks. It is 6.3. So let me play it and let's listen carefully. Tape script 6.3. What's it like? What's Shanghai like? So, what's Shanghai like? What is Shanghai like? Okay, so the answer is... It's very big and noisy, but it's very exciting. So, this is it, which uh, when I'm talking in general. Okay, next. What's the food like? It's the best in the world. I just love Chinese food. So... What's the food like? Oh, bravo. What's so, the what's like? the food like? So, I'm talking about the food. Here, I'm talking about the city. Okay, next. What are the people like? They're very friendly and they really want to do business. So, what's the people what's like? The people? What? We have the people. The people is a plural. What are the people? Bravo, Tavarit. Please be careful. What are the people like? Or what are people like? By the way, let's listen again. And listen carefully, please. So this is it. And let's listen. What are the people like? So what are the people like? Please be careful. Because people is a plural. Because I'm talking about the food and the food is singular, I said is. Because I'm talking about Shanghai and it's singular, I used is. But be careful if you are asking in general, because you have to use is, am, are. Okay. They're very friendly and they really want to do business. What was the weather like? What? The weather like? Uh, and where is the verb? This is what, this is the weather. What, what was? Oh, bravo, because the answer is was in the past. What was the weather like? What is the weather like is in the present. But because I'm talking about the past, what was the weather like? So when I was there, the weather was hot and humid. Humid is rattled. When I was there, it was hot and humid. What are the buildings like? What? What are the buildings? Bravo, plural. agreed. What are plural? Please be careful. What are the buildings like? So notice that is um are was where with like if I'm talking in general. What are the buildings? If you want to use do this did, 
the buildings like. So this is it again. It is with SMR Wiseware Plus like. Okay. Now I think we have to go down to the next exercise and this one. Okay. Let's listen to this recording and there is something I need to mention. Now guys, this is talking about comparative and superlative. Let me tell you that we have discussed this lesson before and I hope that you remember this lesson. Absolutely, here we have smaller, we have bigger, noisier. So this is about comparative and superlative. But let's listen because as I told you, I have to mention something. It is 6.4. This is recording for. Tape script 6.4. Singapore, Shanghai, and Dubai. Absolutely. They are comparing and contrasting these cities. Singapore, Shanghai, and Dubai. Okay, so let's listen. What did you think of Singapore? What's it like? Well, Singapore is very old. It's older than Shanghai, but it's a lot smaller. So? A lot smaller. A lot smaller, exactly. So, a lot smaller. Don't forget that we have smaller comparative, older than comparative. Okay, now Shanghai is bigger than Singapore and noisier. Okay. Shanghai has a population of 20 million and it's enormous. Shanghai is much bigger than Singapore and it's much noisier too. So? Much bigger. Bravo, much bigger and much smaller. So notice that if you want to talk about something more than bigger, you have to say much. Shanghai is much bigger than so absolutely, it's bigger than only saying Shanghai is bigger than Singapore and noisier. So I used much. So this is what I want you to notice that I can use much with comparative. If you want to uh, talk about more than bigger or more than noisier or just noisier, so you have to use much. Okay, now business. Oh, okay. What about business? What's it like to do business in these places? Well, they're both top financial centres, but Singapore is more important. It's better for investment. Uh, so? More important. Oh, bravo. Why did we use more? Not important, important for example. Uh, important more than uh... oh, bravo yet agreed more than one syllable absolutely have to use more with comparative mm -hmm. superlative most better what is the adjective of better good good thank you and what is the superlative of better superlative Better is comparative. What is the superlative? The best. Okay, it is the best. Okay, so Singapore is more important. It's better than anything or for investment. Now, what about buildings and people? Oh, right. And the buildings? Are they all new? Yeah, there are a lot of new buildings in Shanghai. So it's more modern than Singapore. So? I didn't hear. Okay, I have to go back a little bit. So listen carefully. It's better for investment. Ah, oh, right. And the buildings? Are they all new? Yeah, there are a lot of new buildings in Shanghai, so it's more modern than Singapore. What? Modern? Modern, exactly. Do you know the meaning of modern? 
Yes, exactly. So it is more modern because it has more than one syllable than Singapore, but it isn't as cosmopolitan. Dubai is newest and city and it's the most let's listen. But it isn't as cosmopolitan. Half the population of Singapore are foreigners. Wow, really? What about Dubai? What's that like? Dubai is the newest and youngest city. What? The newest and uh, youngest. Uh, exactly. This is superlative. The newest and the youngest city. And the youngest. This is superlative. Young. I have to add EST. And don't forget that most is superlative. The comparative is more. Okay, so most what? And it's the most modern. The most what? Modern. 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 Thank you so much. So most modern. So this is it about people and building. Now let's talk about climate. Climate means al manakh I like it because it has a can-do feel to it. Hmm. What about the climate in these places? What was the weather like? It's interesting. Singapore is very near the equator, so it's a lot hotter than Shanghai. What? Can you repeat it? Yes, I can. What is it, Hiba? It's very... It's very what? I don't. Okay, let's repeat and listen again. And it's the most modern. I like it because it has a can-do feel to it. Hmm. What about the climate in these places? What was the weather like? It's interesting. Singapore is very near the equator, so it's a lot hotter than Shanghai. So? A lot hotter? Well, bravo, Tagreed, is a lot hotter. So, you can use much and a lot. Hotter. So please, please, please be careful that much and a lot, you can use them with comparative. So Singapore is a lot hotter than Shanghai, but it isn't, okay. But it isn't as hot as Dubai. What? Most hot than Dubai. Uh, okay, let me repeat. And do feel to it. Hmm. What about the climate in these places? What was the weather like? It's interesting. Singapore is very near the equator, so it's a lot hotter than Shanghai. But it isn't as hot as Dubai. Dubai. What? Okay. Maybe you didn't listen carefully, so I think it is the time to explain what she said. هلا جايز نحن حكينا عن الكومباريتيف والسوبرلاتيف وكمان حكينا اكيد اذا في عندي مقارنه بين people, places, things but what if they have the same quantity and the same quality اكيد اذا بدي اقول انا اطول من حدا او ذان اه برافو so you have to use comparative هلا في شيء افضل من شيء بس بلكي كان عندنا the same quantity and the same quality يعني انا اذا بدي اقول أنا بنفس طول تغريد. So how can I say that? The same quantity. هاي أنا بقصد بال same quantity و same uh, quality. نفس الشيء تمام. نفس الطول. نفس ال the same. Now what if they are the same? If they are the same, you have to be careful because you have to use as adjective as. Let me open the comparative and superlative. This is as as. Okay. If you are talking about the same, the same quantity, please. You have to use as, adjective, as. Don't use a noun, don't use a verb, don't use anything. So as plus adjective plus as. Let me show you some examples.